Republic of Nigeria has been faced with numerous problems of late. But what poses at the height of its all is the unbearable hike in the prices of food commodities. It is regrettably true that the country has found itself in serious food uptight conditions and this is a great concern for everyone, especially the poor and vulnerable. It is also not news that the country has been faced with worries of high electricity, fuel and transportation prices. In recent times, the skyrocketing food prices in major cities across the country are being reported with serious effects on household budgets. From vegetables to meat, gari, yam and rice, thus constricting customers to battling with modest wages. Come with us as we visit the streets of Abuja to hear fellow Nigerians who are experiencing this at the moment. It has had a tremendous effect on every aspect of our uh, expenditure, ranging from transportation, uh, clothing, um, commodity, and uh, general well-being. Even our health um, expenditure has also uh, gone on the high side. The only thing that can actually uh, cushion the effect in a way that uh, that that drastic, that harsh economic uh, effect that it has had on Nigerians is for every one of us to have a double increment in our salary, which I think is not possible. The situation we find ourselves about the economic and higher what we are saying about the increase of salary, let our leader look into this matter all over. Because every blessing day we are crying to increase the salary. Immediately they increase the salary and some other things go rise up. So let us find a way that let we are crying. Let the, 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 the leader of the country know where we are. They are doing something that we can appreciate it. But up to today, we, they, they, they're supposed to put it in right the way so that everybody will benefit from this government and another government. Because every blessing government has their own challenges. We see how this government get their own challenges. So let them put prayer and put eye. Because sometimes... Mr. President can sign, but they don't follow. Plenty of things happen. So please let them investigate and know where. Our marketer don't have good this thing. They can implore something or they go buy something. They increase the thing because nobody is challenging them. The price of everything has increased. And uh, sometimes you just wake up and see that price just increased. You don't see that it really affects everything that we do. And even the salary we have been collected is no way to talk about it because if you take your salary, something you are collecting, like example, like 20,000 naira today, uh, you can spend uh, uh, 10,000 to buy food stuff in your house and uh, the following day you go to the market, you discover that even the 20,000, the whole salary cannot even afford the things you can use for one week, talk about one month. So it has really affected us very, very bad and, and we don't know what to do, we're just uh, living by the grace of God. The look of things with what is happening in Nigeria now. And with the salary we are ending, not even only me, with some uh, some parastatus, with what is happening in Nigeria now, it's not. This is not really okay. This is not really okay. This is not okay at all. But we believe that with hope, this everything will be all right. By the time you remove the transportation, feeding, and everything, there is nothing left again. It hasn't actually been. Um, it hasn't been okay at all. We as. Uh, the poor of the poorest can't even afford anything. If we talk about those who are in government, it's also not working, it's not helping. The situation of the price of things in, in Nigeria as of today is so exorbitant that even if you are earning 500,000, you can barely eat two good square meals in a day. So it's not commercializing at all, and um, it's not uh, telling well to the, to the citizens of this country. It is not pleasant at all. To be sincere, honestly speaking to you people, Things have increased definitely, and in terms of salary issue is not a matter. Things have really increased. Even you can it's just hundred. I can't buy can't buy anything. Even one thousand I can't buy anything in this country. Even one thousand I can't buy anything in this country. It's just like if you break one thousand naira, you remove five naira from one thousand naira, the money has finished. Nothing in this country is going, is moving is moving up. We're just hoping the government should help us in, ter in terms of marketing stuff and um, commodity, at least they should re reduce the marketing, uh, the price of commodity in this country. Everything in the markets are so expensive, especially now if you go to the market, 
things, especially pepper, onions, all those things, very expensive. It included gari and uh, rice, beans, everything is just expensive at the market. And they did increase salary and things are so expensive in the market. So we don't know how we can go about it. If government can just help us, they should increase the salary and the transport too is expensive. So everything just tires us. With the current spite of inflammatory rates of food prices in the market, the government at all levels should work on commodities to control the prices of food and other products in the market. And there should be an urgent need to consider measures that will ensure a steady flow of food to the market and have the recent price increments reversed. Through the federal government, a competent task force should be set up to actualize the control. The task force should be able to seize us down some of the cost rising factors that affect the availability and cost of products. Thereby, a good relationship will be established between the farmers, the marketers, and